Hey guys, so I'm in the kitchen going, okay, I'm running late. I got a video that's gonna air soon and I don't have a video ready. Um, so I started looking in the fridge. What do I have? What do I need to go shop for, right? And I forgot, I have this big leftover piece of smoked pulled pork. And remember I had leftover brisket and I turned it into chili? Well, we're gonna do the same thing with leftover pork. I don't wanna waste it. Uh, pulled pork or pork butt is very expensive. And this one's a beautiful piece. If you haven't seen that video, go watch it. Uh, it came out great. So anyway, uh, uh, you in there? Come here, little guy. Oh yeah, he's in there. Look at that. Isn't that nice? Nice and crusted on the outside. Look how perfectly smoked on the inside. Oh, it's awesome. So anyway, we're gonna use that and we're gonna make a chili. I love it. It's either leftover food either goes in chili or leftover food goes in omelets. One or the other, we're eating leftovers. In this family, we always do. So come on in close, I'll show you what we're making. It's called bourbon pulled pork chili. So it's a lot of stuff that you can get at any store, simple items, but there's a lot of items. That's what's great about chili. And most of this stuff you might even already have in your refrigerator. So let's run down it. Red onion, red bell pepper, jalapenos that have been diced and seeded, no seeds in it, garlic, cilantro, we got red beans or kidney beans, uh, black beans, diced tomatoes, this is the bourbon, this is the coffee, this is the honey, a little bit of uh, chili powder, and I'm sorry, cayenne pepper, and cumin, salt, pepper, a little oil to saute some of the stuff before we get it going. Meet me over the stove, and I'll show you how we're gonna put it all together. <clears throat> okay, so I'm using the Rachel Ray stock pot and the little Rachel Ray clip-on spoon. I love that, made out of silicone. You just clip it on, you stir, and then you can clip it on. Sometimes my pot's too full, so I, you probably won't see me clip it on this episode because I got a big thing of chili I'm making. But like, if you just got a low level something, you could just stick it like right on there and it just holds it. And then when you come back, it won't be hot. Stir again, hold it. You don't even need a spoon rest. Dig on that. All right, so let's get the oil in first. Okay, you're gonna put a little bit of oil on the bottom. We're gonna saute some of the uh, vegetables. Get your flame on medium high. That's what I'm doing right now, medium high. All right, put the onions in. Red bell pepper. Jalapenos and the garlic. Okay, you're just gonna just gonna saute these till they get softened. Okay, those are done, everything's soft. I'm gonna put it down to about a medium flame. Now I'm adding an ingredient I didn't show you at the beginning of the show. I'm adding some brown sugar. I will have it in the recipe down below, so don't you worry about it. Here's some cumin. Cayenne. Just give that a minute or two to, to pop the seasoning. Time to put in some of the meat. Depends on how much you have. Kind of eyeball it. You don't want to put in too much meat because then it won't be a well-balanced chili. I got big chunks. You don't have to put in big chunks at all. You may want to dice it up nice and fine. Does that look good? Yeah, that looks good. Now I want to stir this around real quick. Get that seasoning all on the pork. Warm that pork up. Tomatoes. And I got the diced tomatoes. They have some green chili in them. You don't have to get that kind. You can get any kind of tomatoes you want. Italian tomatoes, regular diced tomatoes, any kind of tomatoes. I wanted to add the green chili, so. It will be in the recipe as an option. Some black beans, some red beans. That's the coffee. Here comes the bourbon. <laughs> That's when everything smells amazing in the kitchen. A little bit of honey. Cilantro. We're gonna mix it twice. First, we're gonna mix this just to incorporate everything. 
Give it a good heavy dose of black pepper. Salt and pepper always to your liking. Some people will wait till later on in the dish, that's fine. Here's the salt. Let's mix it all up again. I'm gonna incorporate salt and pepper now. Okay, you see right there where the little bubbles are breaking along the perimeter? You're gonna go down to about medium to medium low, depending on your stove. You just wanna keep that going, that's called a simmer. All right, now that we got it in a simmer, we're going to let this go for two to three hours. Remember, the longer you let it simmer, the more tender that meat's gonna get. Okay, I just turned it off. I'm letting it cool now. Look at it. Look at it, it even wrinkles on top. Look at the wrinkle. Isn't that crazy? It's got like a little film on top. I'm digging this. It is, the meat's just falling apart. The beans, they've all, it's all coming together. Look at that. That's just beautiful. Some pulled pork, some chunks of pork. You could see the green in there. Oh, it's so awesome. Okay, there you go. Bourbon, pulled pork, chili. Top a little sour cream, a little shredded cheese, and a beautiful slice of jalapeno with some Hawaiian dinner rolls. Oh, so easy, so inexpensive. Not bad at all. You guys gotta try this. Okay, so Jack Jr. is getting home from football and Tammy's getting home from work, and I'm about ready to try this, and then I'm gonna serve it up to them in just a few moments. You ready? Here we go. Smells amazing. Mmm. That meat just fell apart right in my mouth. So good. You're definitely gonna wanna dip bread in this. Just the juice alone, the flavor in that juice, that alone's to die for. I can't explain it. You gotta make it. It wasn't bad or totally easy. If I can do it, you can do it. So make this, let me know what you think. And everybody, send in your Halloween recipes. I'm doing Halloween uh, viewer recipes, okay? So the viewer is gonna send me recipes and I'm gonna do your, your videos, okay? So send me whatever you got. Uh, just email it to the address down below and I'll see you in the next episode. Take care, bye-bye.